Hello and welcome once again. Um, last time I was talk, speaking about um, computer modules and I spoke about one that went bad. It was burned and chartered and now I want to refer to a couple of things. First of all, in the textbook that I used many years ago, Automotive Technology, a Systems Approach, it just gave you a basic layout. This was over 20 years ago. This is the printed circuit board that you see here. So the printed circuit board had pads on it also they had chips on it see these chips like microprocessors now that was over 20 years ago go forward now 20 years later and this is the board that the textbook was almost referring to same thing except different components different uh, layers however as you can see the one the microprocessor is this one just like you see over here in this one so the textbook was right on when it referred to things like that. Other important element that I referred to was about this being burned because of water getting in. As I told you before, if you see this picture, it has to be closed and has to be secured. The metal can is for protection. These are the wires coming out, the harness wires. It has to be protected from the outside environment from obviously water seeping in much water is all over the car obviously vibration and other things so i was asked by my viewer how do i know a person was in there already doing rework well first of all is the screws were missing if you see the arrow pointing to screws another thing is if the screws are loose if the screws are loose and not tighten at all that means somebody was in there trying to at least attempt to try to open the case now in many videos, you, you've seen the, the thing about what goes wrong with these type of uh, boards. Well, they always concentrate on one thing. They always concentrate on this, the harness, the wires being broken. So they do the wiggle test. Those wires go in these, as you can see, in these pins over here. A little hard to see. These pins over here these pins over here so when they plug into these it's not always the problem that the wires are the problems you have to pay attention also to corrosion or these can be burned now how do i know by that these are burned also these pins as as you as you can see well one way obviously is to do a visual but i don't rely on visuals i only rely on multimeters and scopes and test equipment to tell me the most accurate information how would you test that so as i said before when you look at the at these this is the one obviously that was burned that i referred to before now let's say all these are pins okay there's one layer of pins here then there's another layer of pins underneath it which is a little hard to see there's another layer now let's say I believe, I, or I think, as a technician, I think that maybe something is wrong with this pin. Am I going to just go and change it? Or am I going to go and assume that it is corroded or burned? How do I know? Well, as you can see, I have this probe. This probe has a special small alligator clip that it clips right on. Okay? Now, two ways of it. There's another claw that I use. This is a bigger type. This is, holds on, one end of it goes to the probe. The other side of it goes to whatever you're going to uh, attach it to, obviously. But this claw is much more stronger and tighter. In this case, I cannot fit it around the small pins. Therefore, I have to use this one. So here's the meter. Here's the meter. Okay. I put it on continuity. See that where the button is? It's on continuity. Over here. On continuity. Therefore, I can hear it, or I can hear audio, or I can see close to zero. And that's what I'm aiming for. The fact that it tells me zero or I hear audible means that there is a connection from this point, this positive point to wherever I attach 
this point. Now, where do I want to put the other probe, the negative probe? Where I want, well, if I want to see if there's a connection between this pin, this pin, inner and outer, I have to flip the board. And I have to look for all the connections. Now, let's say you look over here. Okay, now you see zero. That means there is a connection from here to this pin that's going in. That means there is a good connection. There is no burned mark on it or corrosion or anything that would do that. So we go here. We go here. Excuse me. Here. Now we go to the other one. Now, as you can see, there is none. On the others, there is no connection. The only connection is over here. Zero. That means the connection is there. Now, let's say I put my probe over here, and I don't know which one it is. I'm not sure which, <clears throat> which pin is the correct one. So what do I do? This is what you do. You try all of them. So in other words, let's say I start from here. Here's the, the meter, if you can see, a little hard to see. I go through all of them. Okay, I look for zero, zero, zero. No, nothing so far, nothing so far. I try all of them until I come to the one that we referred to before. I get a zero reading over here. That's the one that's connected. So if you're not sure, just touch all of them. And this is the method to find out if this pin is actually good to the circuit board. Remember, it's not always not always the the connectors, the wires themselves, the hard wiring themselves. Sometimes there is corrosion, there is water in here, it can be burned or whatever. This is the best method that I use that I've come up with to make sure that this works this way. So, if you have any questions or information, please uh, comment. My channel is Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto. Please see my other videos. And like I said, you can use many types. You can, like I said, you can use this if it fits. This is the best that I, that I recommend. Like I said, it depends on the situation that you're doing. This will not fit over here. It's too close to the other pins. This is the best one. And these are small. And these I use for the chips themselves. This is the best method to use. So, again, go to my channel, Jolly Transfer Master Auto. You see other videos. And hopefully more hands-on videos will be coming. Uh, hope that you found this informative. Thank you for watching.